Hello, today I will be talking about monolatrix. I will start with showing a typical situation where I would suspect monolatrix. A patient who is complaining of lots of hair on her brush, the hairs which are not growing longer than a few centimeters, especially in some areas, and maybe sometimes some papules on the nape of the neck. When we look at trichoscopy, we will be surprised because the hair shafts are not uniform in structure, they have multiple constrictions along the hair shaft. In monolatrix, a genetic mutation causes the development of constrictions along the hair shaft and at the sides of these hair shafts the hair is more fragile and it has a tendency to break. These may be caused by different mutations, however in every case the hair shaft will not grow longer than a certain length, usually approximately 5 cm. In some patients this defect may be almost invisible because of a low percentage of hairs which are involved and in other cases if all or almost all hairs are involved, it may cause total or near total alopecia. The disease may involve not only the scalp, but also the eyebrows, the eyelashes, and other body hair. This is a typical trichoscopy image in a patient with monolatrix, which is caused by a mutation in a keratin gene, and you clearly see the constrictions along the hair shafts, which are in regular intervals. This is an image from a handheld dermoscope, so significantly lower magnification. When looking at monolatrix, which is caused by a mutation in the dysmoglein 4 gene, here the distances between the constrictions are much smaller and this may cause a much more significant hair loss. So the multiple hairs on the brush, they may be not hairs which are falling out, they may be hairs which are breaking in the course of diseases or conditions associated with the increased fragility of the hair shaft. What is a good treatment for monolatrix? Well, if you check PubMed, you will see multiple options. Acetretin, minoxidil, topical steroids, hormone. However, when I talk to patients and also when I read social media posts, I see that there's nothing what is really satisfying. There's one consensus that hair improves during the pregnancy, but after the pregnancy, it goes back to the condition as it was before. So we may prolong a little bit the anagen phase. We may increase the thickness of the hair to decrease the fragility but this will in most cases give only partial improvement. Thank you very much. And if you are interested in trichoscopy, please consider taking a look at my YouTube channel, which is focused on hair diseases and trichoscopy. Thank you.